what's up youtube pj back with another video for you guys and today i'm gonna be raiding my car because you guys have been telling me that you like my car for a very long time now and i like my car also but there are a few things that i would say she isn't the best at that's with having any car the experience with having a car is gonna be a roller coaster ride but the few things that i'm gonna be rating her on today is gonna be the performance the driving experience the curb appeal and the value for the car and i'm looking at the car right now and i don't have any regrets of buying her i mean she's a little dirty right now you know what come on we about to go wash the car hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side i don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways finally somewhere where i could get this rating started but uh that car wash that i just went through it was so bad you can't tell from far away which is a good thing but that thing was terrible i mean there's still the numbers from whenever i went to the track it's still on the back window i still have the leftover tire that's behind the wheel i mean it was just bad but the first thing on this list of ratings was the performance of the car. I am pretty satisfied with how the car performs because it's not just a one purpose car. Um, I can use it for auto crossing, I can use it for drag racing, I can use it for daily driving, even though she has over 150,000 miles on her. But she's been a pretty decent car and I like that about the car. I like that it has the IRS suspension. I like that, what is this, go home. I like the feeling that it gives whenever you get on the throttle and it just puts you back in the seat. You can thank the torque for that. The only thing that I do have a problem with would have to be the brakes. I believe there are two piston brakes that the car came with and I'm not very fond of that at all. But out of 10, I would have to get the performance of my Terminator Cobra an 8. It, it can get a solid 8 because a 9, I feel like that would be too high up because there are better performing cars and 10 I would say that's supercar status but yeah solid 8 would be very good for Peggy the second thing on the list for ratings on my car will have to be the driving experience I would say if you know somebody with a Terminator Cobra or if you are planning on getting one it will not be a bad buy and you need to ride in one of these cars the sounds that it makes from the root style supercharger on back to the exhaust it's just it's like a symphony like it goes together so well and it just it always puts a smile on my face and like i previously said you can take this car on back roads if you need to you can drive this car spiritedly because it's not just a single purpose car and i appreciate that about the car my experience with this terminator cobra i would have to say that it's slightly better than it was in my genesis just because I don't know the Genesis it was an automatic and this car is a manual and I just feel so engaged whenever I'm behind the wheel of this car and I like that about it the only thing that I can say that I absolutely don't like is the dated interior this interior is so bad it squeaks it sounds like something's breaking every time you go over the slightest of rocks and just like that's the only thing that I can say that is not very good about the car about the drivability of it and with that being said I would have to give the driving experience I would have to give it a solid 9 still just because the interior isn't that good that doesn't take away from the experience you have whenever you're behind the wheel of this car like I said earlier you need to drive one of these cars if you get the chance Ooh, I'm running out of time it's getting kind of dark I'm getting kind of cold I need to speed this up third thing on the list of ratings will have to be the curb appeal this car has some of the sexiest body lines of the Mustang car in general. I love how they took the base New Edge Mustang and they tweaked 
very few things to it, but the very few things were very vital to this car's prestige. And I like that. It's not the fanciest car on the road, I know that, but to the untrained eye, you, you can't really tell the difference between any other new edge. But the people who know, you know. We look at the different wing, the different bumpers, from the lettering to the emblems, and we appreciate it each time we hear it coming down the road. We just know that here comes trouble. I just hate how the car gets mistaken for, oh, this is just a, an old Mustang. It's maybe a GT, those things weren't fast. Those two valves can't do anything with the newer cars. And I feel as if people are wrong about that. And everybody who knows, know that they are wrong about that. But I can't really complain about it. I like the way the car looks. And with all that being said, I would say that the curve appeal for my Terminator Cobra would have to be a solid six. And that has nothing to do with how I perceive the car. It's just in general, people don't seem to like the way the car looks. I mean, they like the way it sounds and things. And to car people, they like the, they like the car. But in general, the car just, it doesn't do it for everybody. And last but not least on the things that I have to rate about my car will have to be the value. I'm not even gonna lie, I got this car for a steal. Even though it had 113,000 miles on it, the car, it felt like it only had about 50 or 60,000 miles on it. And it's an 03. I'll put the price up somewhere at the top of the screen so you can see how much I actually paid for it. And y'all are gonna be like, what the f PJ? Like, how did you do that? And to be honest, I don't know how I did it. These cars, I love them so much because they hold value. I honestly don't know exactly why they hold value. Maybe because it was one of the first cars with the IRS suspension that actually made power with just a smaller pulley. Maybe it's just the fact that the engine is basically bulletproof. Maybe because back then people looked at it as the American Supra. I really don't know why it holds value, but the experience with the car I would say is worth every penny that I paid for it and I'm glad that I did make the purchase. And with that being said, I would have to rate the value of my car a nine. And for all of you who disagree with me giving the car a nine, let me know why exactly you did so in the comment section because I wanna hear the reasons why you think this car should have been a 10 or should have been way lower than a nine. All right, so if you do the math behind all the categories from the performance to the driving experience to the curb appeal and the value, then I would say the overall rating for my car that I gave it would be an 8 out of 10, I believe. If I did the math wrong, let me know. I wouldn't say that's pretty bad for an old, old Mustang that I have. For me to believe that my car is in the top 80% of all cars in the world that I have had experience with and I have seen, that I think that's pretty good. I think I did a pretty good job about buying this car and I definitely do not regret buying it at all. I love the car so much and I think it's gonna be one of my forever cars, but don't hold me to that. But I'm about to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you all for staying this far in the video. I do appreciate you guys for watching this. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family if they were looking at these cars or just to inform them about the car. Well, what I think about the car. Comment down in the section below. Let me know you guys' ratings on the car. Let me know you guys' ratings on your cars, what cars you have. Because, I mean, I like talking about that kind of stuff with y'all. Y'all are like my family. Y'all are like my big brothers, my little brothers, my little sister, you know, all of that stuff. But I'm about to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank y'all for watching the video. And always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. Thank y'all for watching. <laughs>